Alright, so, Madden 19 is on us. I've been playing a lot of Madden 19 Ultimate Team early with EA Access with the Hall of Fame Edition, but the game is officially just launched. If you're clicking on this video, you're probably wondering how to make coins. Well, it's not the first time I've been asked that question. I've been asked it tons in YouTube comments, in Twitch chat. Uh, a bunch of people have DM'd me even on Instagram. I don't even know how you find that so far down in my description, how you get into my Insta. But a lot of people are DMing me uh, even on Twitter and asking this question, Throne, how are you making so many coins? You have over a million right now. You have a basically two million coin team you have power up sean t power up adrian amos uh champ bailey people are tweeting me and dming me do you want to buy coins for me and stuff like that thinking that i'm like buying coins and buying packs well i'm not i'm ha actually hashtag team no money spent i want you guys that are also team no money spent to let me know in the comment section below if something else just sells uh let me know in the comment section below tweet me your team with hashtag team no money spent i want to start this as something uh, that we can all kind of come together and grind all together and not give ea our money and even if you bought a bundle or bought packs earlier or have spent money on the game on cosmetics or whatever i just want you guys to know uh you're definitely welcome in team no money spent as long as you continue to move forward with hashtag team no money spent uh it's a movement that's uh honestly i think is huge and mutt's definitely in a place where they allow us to build teams without spending money a lot of people say it's pay to play uh it's really you gotta grind to play that would be my honest opinion so anyways today we're gonna go through how i have made just so many coins in the first week of madden 19. Now, I would say the number one uh, misconception is I'm not grinding solos. That's one of the things people say the most is, oh, grind solos. You can get a good team and you can make some coins. It's not the best, though. I've been playing a lot of draft champs. I've been playing a lot of head-to-head. -head. I have, I think, about 30 head-to-head -head wins and about 70 of draft champs. That was, it was a lot that I played uh, before the game actually came out. And the leaderboards have been reset multiple times. So I have like six or seven, six and oh seasons. And those are good rewards, too. But for your time, those are not the best ways to be making coins. The best ways or best way is to head to the auction house and take advantage of what EA has given us, which is a, a real time marketplace and a free market to sell our stuff. Now, however, there is a 10% tax on the auction house, which does, uh, it's a little unfortunate. I wish it would be gone, but um, we're able to make it work. We're able to work around it and make coins still using this auction house and grinding on it. So today we're going to teach you guys how to do that. Now, I also wanted to, to pause you guys for a second. Last year, this is my most viewed video. It was 158,000 views, 3,000 likes. Uh, and I just wanted to, to set a, like a smaller like goal. Can we have 300 likes on this video if you do enjoy, uh, whether it's the content or, or you are able to take something away or you're actually using my sniping filters. If you learn anything, can you please drop a like it really does help and then can you hit the subscribe button if you're interested in learning more about sniping and making coins or interested in seeing more game plays that are linked above or, or offensive plays or defenses i'm a top 100 weekend league player uh every single weekend i know what i'm doing with the game and i'm a no uh, i wouldn't say a no money spent i wasn't last year but this year I'm, I'm gonna be a no money spent expert and i know a lot about the game still and about the auction house and just overall i think i think it's a good i think it's a good investment for you to subscribe to me it's just clicking that button down there and clicking the bell next it to get notifications every single time I upload. Anyways, let's get into this. So the first thing I like to do is right next to me, I have a second monitor. I want to pull that up on screen. Uh, and I have two tabs up right now. And that's for what I'm going to get into in just a sec. But they are both mutthead.com. So mutthead's great. It's your best friend. I'm not paid to say that in any sort of way. I'm not affiliated with mutthead. It's my favorite thing though. It's for snipers. So say just right now, I'm just going to scroll down on... Uh, this auction house. Let's just say I come across this Cody Parkey. I don't have a clue. Was this a good buy? Did I miss it? Let me check how much he's worth. Parkey. Cody Parkey. Kicker uh, for the Bears. And we're going to click him. His price is 2,400 coins. We can click his prices and see just how many are up. And uh, yep, right here, none actually live right now. But uh, what ones have sold? Actually, that's because he hasn't been updated. You can click here if you have a Mutt Head account and update it at any time. So now updated less than a minute ago. A bunch are up. 2,800 is the cheapest. And he's been selling quite a bit over the past seven hours but there was like a lull like when he wasn't selling so just good things you can know about cards and it's definitely really useful for sniping but i'm gonna click the back button i want to stay on these two pages i'll just grab them in just a sec uh and i think it's crucial um like i as you need to use my head like if you're sniping like it's gonna save your life uh, rather than try to memorize prices 100 percent of the time so what we're gonna be doing First off, you come to the auction house, it's sorted by buy it now or buy now price. What you want to do is click right trigger and go up twice and go to newest. That's how we want to be filtering the auction house. We want to see the newest cards that are being uh, being posted. So the reason why is if I came, let's go to buy now price first. Buy now price and let's just go to a filter that like works. I know 90 to 91. Um, if I click, here's Lorenzo Neal right here, 200,000. Um, I can see a few cards right here. I can't even see these 
prices. But let's say a Randy Moss came up right now for 300k. That's a deal, and I want to buy him. I wouldn't be able to see him on this page. Um, even though he just got posted, I would totally miss him, and I would miss out on an opportunity to make at least 100,000 coins with Randy Moss. He would be farther down, and I'm not going to scroll through the whole thing, and I'm definitely not going to be able to pick out a deal within that. So if I go to newest right here, and wouldn't that be funny if I missed a Randy Moss right now doing this? Uh newest you're gonna see the most recent card posted which in this case is Chris Harris was posted less than two minutes ago now if we're on a filter and we're using this newest we can tell that a filter doesn't work if we just go to 86 87 is a perfect example it shows 43 minutes for Travis Frederick there is no option when you post a card to the market to post a card for 43 minutes there is only an option for one hour eight hours 12 hours and 24 hours and most commonly people will use one hour uh, so this card's been up for at least 17 minutes gonna be uh, gonna be 18 here in a bit Do you think it's a really good deal if no one's bought the card in almost 20 minutes? Uh, I'll give you give you an answer if you're not able to figure that out. It's not a good deal It's an awful deal probably or not necessarily an awful deal. It's just not a good deal You're not you're not gonna make coins on a card that's been up for that long um, So this Travis Travis Frederick, it's probably close to his price. It might even be more I can look on uh, on my head right here and do we have a Frederick around? I've probably just missed it right here. 112. He's up for 117. Clearly, just not a good price. So uh, I'm actually going to refresh both my tabs. This will refresh any prices that people have updated quickly. So the filter we're going to be going through today is quality 86 to 87. And to make it a better filter is I'm going to go all offense and all defense. Now, keep in mind the date that you're viewing this video, things might change. Uh, just FYI, I will link my next sniping tutorial uh, up at the top if there is one. But um, for now, this is what I have. And I don't even, not even gonna pay attention to price rate. Actually, we do wanna look at this Alex, Alex Mack right here quickly, 71, okay. Just you know, keeping that in my mind. This filter does work. AJ Green, 59 minutes, 33 seconds. He's posted the most recent. Someone posted him for, for an hour and he showed right up. If I go to defense, the exact same scenario happens. We're able to see brand new cards on the auction house and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for cards that were just posted because that's when we're gonna be able to find the deals. So right now, all I do, is flip between oh my gosh it's actually i just hit that live i just hit that live i was still i was literally thinking about what happens we just looked at alex max price too this is incredible this is okay so i'm gonna keep my point era my coin total going i can literally like if this isn't enough proof i don't know um i can okay so that's a really good deal to start it off uh what was I saying? I'm going to keep my prices and show you how much I'm selling each card for. But just to show you on my head right here, I can go down to Alex Mack. That's so funny. We just looked at his price. Um, 71,000 coins it says on my head. You're going to be able to see I just sniped him literally right now. This is so cool that I like have the proof. But someone, someone tried updating one minute ago to see if they could buy him. And they missed him. Why'd you update? Why'd you look him up? You should have just bought him. It was clearly a good deal. Bought out one minute ago, 34,000. That's incredible. Okay. So yeah, there's the snipe. 74,000 is the cheapest he's up and it says 71 on Mutthead. So I'm gonna click to 73,000 as we, as we go along. And hopefully this video, uh, at least hopefully we hit one or two more. So biggest snipes I've hit so far using filters of, of higher overall cards. Now again, oh actually, I do wanna start off with, um, we're looking to just make one or 2,000 coins a pop. Using that 10% tax uh, or keeping that in mind, how can we make 2,000 coins? See if you make 2,000 coins 100 times, that's 200,000 coins. It sounds pretty simple. Uh, sounds like just filling up your auctions to 20 auctions five times, like in between games. That's not, that doesn't sound too bad. So you just want to keep those things in mind. Uh, small, small snipes. I'm like at a loss for words right now. Small snipes, small profits turn to big profit if you just uh, stay steady and keep doing it. Now, right there, we're going to hit for about, what's that, like 30K or something like that? How much did I get them for? I don't even remember. I'm gonna go back, click uh, click there. So my offense and defense are up. I think I was gonna describe this. So quickly, on the left side, I have 86, 87 and all offensive players. On the right side, I have 86, 87 and all defensive players. So I've got them sorted by buy now price just to quickly be able to see, uh, like super quickly, which, uh, which what, what the price of a player is. I'm like at a loss for words still right now. Um, but if there was like a card, if you're, I'm doing a different filter, a filter that doesn't work this well, I can literally just type in like Julio, Julio Jones will pop up two options. I can click which one I'll go right to his card. That's not a bad op option. Or you can filter on the auction house and click like team. For instance, if Odell popped up, I could click giants. Oh, there's Odell for 188. Like, oh, that's not a buy because there's one up for two, 200. I can't make coins on that. Delaney Walker for 55. That is, that's a buy. I'm going to miss it too. 
That's a buy. That's a buy. I'm literally gonna sit. Please update. Please update, dude. Please update. Please update. Please update. 62. I'm gonna do it. Figure I'd just make a K or 2K here. Um, I also thought it was an excellent price, but I'm gonna double check on him here just to make sure what prices of Delaney Walker are up right now. So actually, some lower Delaney's up. I'm still gonna put him up for 62.5. I'm not gonna make many coins on that, but it's about a thousand coins right there. Again, not the world's greatest snipe, but I decided to pull the trigger on it just in case. It seemed obscurely low for a tight end that's rated uh, 86 overall. So I said 62.5. I'm doing for one hour. Basically, uh, when you look for the time that you want to post, you want your auction to be ending at a time when everyone's on the auction house. So uh, so right now I'm sniping at 8 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, that Michael Thomas should have been about a buy. I was going to look him up. I'm sniping at about 8 p.m. So I'm only, if I put him up for one hour, it's going to end at 9. A lot of people are on at night. Uh, or a lot of people are on on weekends. Like, I don't want my auctions ending at 4 a.m., if you get what I'm saying. Um, just a few things to keep in mind. I'm not even going to look up Michael Thomas. Whatever. Someone got him for 51K. I don't even think it was that great of a deal. He might be 60, maybe. Connie for 195. You can literally see him right there. He's 185 on the right side. Um, go back to all offense. We're just going to keep flipping through these. I may go to something else uh, if I do feel like this is a little cold right now. If we're not hitting too much. But that was an excellent start to the video um, was hitting that Alex Mack for 30K and, and, and hitting some profit on that. Literally on one of our first auction, or uh, one of our first clicks too. Let's type in Michael Thomas. I know he's not on his first page. I just checked seconds ago. I want to make sure he's about 60. No, he's 57.5. So again, I cannot cut profit on that with 10% tax. Um, just remember in that when you're, you're working this auction house, always keeping that in mind. Uh, it may be something that's new to you. Uh, if you're new at trying to to, to use the auction house to your advantage. Um, keeping that 10% that you may forget about it every once in a while or you may not be the greatest at remembering what cards are worth what prices. I'm still not. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been sniping for about three years on Mutt now and I still forget prices very often. The auction house is always fluctuating. It's real time uh, and, it's, and it's, it's changing. You just gotta keep up with it pretty much. I wouldn't say daily but almost daily would be best. But in the early stages of the game, like right now the game's just released, the auction house can be very vulnerable. It can change a lot depending on what bundles are released, uh, depending on what promos come out. That's when the auction house changes the most. So clicking back to defense right here, open to hit something else after that huge Alex Mack hit. Malcolm Jenkins, that's a card I'm just going to give a quick check for to make sure he's not up here. He's not, I am going to click on the second page right now just to make sure he's not like 69,000 or something like that. We got a Malcolm Jenkins around. Malcolm Jenkins, 62. Not gonna be a not gonna be a purchase uh, that I'm looking to make right there unless you're looking to lose coins, which is the opposite of this tutorial. Going back to all defense. So what I was saying way back was I hit a Khalil Mack earlier in the year for 100. This Suggs is not a buy. Uh, Khalil Mack earlier in the year for 125,000 coins. I also hit a Od an Odell for 124, and I sold them a little too early. If I would have held on to both of them, I would have been able to make more coins. I only made about 50 to 60k on the two of them. Especially Mac, that card launched up in price. I should have just held on to him, like honestly. Those are my two best snipes so far though. Um, that Mac is, is not even a top five snipe, like not even really close, honestly. Um, 30K is good, but I've, I've made over 50K plenty of times. Uh, the Zeke Elliott, he's about properly priced. Just keeping in mind, every card I see, I'm trying to think about what's his price. I'm gonna check Graham's quick sell value, he's 160. Okay, and Hayward's about 83 one of those corners corners generally go for more especially if they're good man coverage good speed um eric berry this is a card i'm not super familiar with but i think he's more in like the 120 range if i get a card or an eric berry that's lower i'll, I'll double check trent williams i want to see him he's 88.5 this is one of those like super borderline like buys maybe he'll go up and i'd be able to make some coins um but right now not a card i'm looking to purchase just uh, not, not much room for profit on him. Lattimore for 120. Lattimore 120. The 140. I'm going to buy him. Yeah, I got him. So Lattimore 140 on Mutthead. Hopefully he hasn't gone down too much since that was last refresh. Obviously his price is trending down. Gosh, I love Mutthead. But I'm going to post for this one for 134 right now. I'm going to post for one. I'm going to redo a, a price update quickly. Yeah, I'm going to post for 139 and we're going to make some profit on Lattimore right there. So another good hit. Uh, just anything, like again, even if you hit below 10K, it's not a bad, it's not a bad deal. Like this one was, what's that, like 6,000 coins roughly? Um, it's not a bad, that's 
like I'll take 6,000 coins any day of the week. It's a safe 6,000 coins right there. I have the cheapest one up um, at, at 139 right now. So good hit on Marshawn Lattimore. That's for sure. Again, tell me in the comment section, what are your best snipes you've got going on so far? Can I please go back to my filter, my head? Um, tell me what the best snipes you've had so far on Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Let me know what cards you're targeting to add to the squad. Desmond Trufant for night. Excuse me for 93. I think he's a 100k coin card. Check my defensive side right here. Trufant 102. Again, if I was looking to buy a Trufant and add him to the team, I may buy him. But uh, for what our purposes are, which is to make coins, not looking to purchase him right now. Steve Hutchinson for 60k. This just just seems low. Um, it's not though that doesn't seem that low that's not that abnormal i guess for an 86 what am i thinking true font 93 still no one's even bought that out and this is also an excellent way if you're not looking to make coins like i said if you're looking to buy a card say i was looking to buy a pierre garçon maybe go and flip uh filter him for a while or looking to buy an elite receiver just get a better deal on someone i can save 10k trying to buy that desmond true font right there if i just bought him and kept him um that saves me 10k from buying him for his regular mutt head price, his, his market value price. And look at that, that true font. No, he's still there. I'm gonna say he's gone already, but he's not. Um, he might be up for a couple minutes, but this breeze is is close. I think it's like right at profit margin. I wanna say he's like 70K. Drew Breeze, 69. Wait till all the comments get a load of me saying that. Get out of there. Richard Sherman. No, 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 no. I'll go for it. I'll go for a couple more hits. Maybe if we can buy two more cards, that would be sick. Um, just an excellent start. Travis Kelsey's quick sells for 230. I can't make coins on him. And then, of course, we could check. I, I don't think this actually works right now, but clicking the 84, 85 quality. Oh, it doesn't at all. What about offense? It's 45 minutes for that. This used to be working excellent in EA Access. 54. That's crazy. What you also could do is come in and fl uh, filter through cap value if that's something that interests you. Like, you can see, oh, this actually, that's not even a bad filter. I just made one right there. All offense, how about all defense? I bet cap value is a bit lower. Oh, these are both good filters. Okay, so 84 to, okay, so I, we just made one right here. All offense and all defense, 84 to 85, and cap value. This is actually not looking for big purchases, looking for something to, you know, just quickly, like, you know, make some coins. So Kirk Cousins here for 86. I'm just going to click him. And even if I see he's 86, for lower overall cards, usually you can sell for more than they're worth. I'm gonna show it on the screen. I bet I sell him for 10K right here. I bet I do. I'm not gonna be able to certainly prove that, but I'll show you a screenshot and you'll be able to see like my coin total and my mutt level. I bet I can sell him for 9,900 or 10K just because you can expose people with lower overalls on the auction house. It's something I should make a video on. The Lattimore just sold right there. Um, so that was an excellent buy that we got on him making about five to 6K on that card. Um, yeah. So we bought the Bortles. Not sure if we have too much else to talk about, but just appreciate you guys coming out to the video. Appreciate you guys supporting my channel in the early stages of Mutt 19. Um, it's gonna be a great year. I'm, I'm loving Madden so far. I'm just gonna call it right there. Alex Mack for 35. Like that's incredible. We can see all my purchases from just warming up a little bit right here. 34 was what it was. Wait, we bought a Delaney. Oh yeah, we bought a Delaney Walker too. This Alex Mack for 34, that was that was awesome. That's I'm never gonna forget hitting that live like just immediately. That was sick. But if you did like this video, I want you guys to hit the like button. If you do like what you see again, I've told you probably like three or four times. Not looking to like not trying to look like too much of a sellout, but if you could, uh, hitting the subscribe button does really help as well. I promise you it does. And turning on notifications so you don't miss uploads, gameplay strategy, using certain cards, and sniping tutorials. All of them are coming soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And go out and make your first million coins. Tweet me, hashtag, team no money spent. I would love to see your squads. And until next time, I'm out. Step up. Dot, Carson! This game is so goddamn bad, bro! Oh my gosh! Stop!